In this problem, we're told a small motor runs a lift that raises a load of bricks weighing 836 newtons to a height of 10.7 meters in 23.2 seconds. Assuming that the bricks are lifted with constant speed, what is the minimum power the motor must produce? So what we're trying to do in this uh, problem is solve for power. And the way we're going to do it is by relating power to work and time. So the formula you need to know is power is equal to work over time. So we know how long this thing is going to be lifted for, which is 23.2 seconds. So we know the time. But what we need to do is solve for the work done. So if we can find the work done, that's just going to give us the power, or the minimum power that the motor is going to have to produce. So how do we find the work? So when you're lifting something against up straight up like this and you're going against gravity, you need to know that work equals the change in the potential energy. So if you're going against a force that's just constant like this, it's the change in the potential energy, like such as gravity. So what we're going to do is just find the change in potential energy, and that's going to give us uh, the work. So we know potential energy is equal to mgh and so what we're going to assume is where it starts is at a height of zero so when you say the change in potential energy and something starts at zero it's just going to be the final so the final potential energy is just mgh final and then if you want to do the change it's mgh final minus mgh initial that's going to be the change but h initial is just zero so this is zero uh h is so this would just cancel so really the change is just going to be equal to m g times h final so what we can do is just solve for this. So work equals the change of potential energy, which is this, which just means the work equals mgh final. So we know the mass in this case, or mg in this case, is 836 newtons. Because they tell us how much it weighs, they don't give us the individual mass. We could solve for it, but basically when they say this, how much it weighs, they're talking about mg. So we know it's just going to be 836 times the final height. And so we know we bring it up 10.7 meters, so h final is just 10.7. So now we have the work, we can just plug it in. So 836 times 10.7. So go ahead and plug this in. So 8, 830, 836 times 10.7 divided by 23.2. When you go ahead and do that, you're going to get the power is equal to 385.5689 and so on. I'm just going to round to 386, so it's about 386 watts. That's what you measure power in when you solve it this way. So power is going to be equal to about uh, 386 watts, or if you want the exact number, you can use that. Uh, you can also put this in horsepower, so if you want to convert it into horsepower, all you got to do is divide by 746, because we know 746 watts is equal to one horsepower. So you would just take your answer. I'm going to use the rounded one. If you want to use the more exact, you can. So 386 watts. And we know 1 horsepower equals 746 uh, watts. So that would cancel. So you just do 386 divided by 746. And you'd get 0.517. And it would be in horsepower. So whatever answer you want to write it in, if you want it in horsepower or watts, just make sure you do what your teacher wants you to do. But yeah, so... These are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.